Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in today, man. Today we're checking out I Used to Be a King from Graham Nash, all right? Usually I'm checking out the boys together. Once in a while we get to check them out on their solo stuff on their own. Graham Nash, I might only have one song from Graham Nash on the channel. I thought it was a banger. Uh, maybe, maybe it was called like Immigrant Man. It's been a long time, dude. I want to say it was called Immigrant Man. I thought it was a banger, um, but I can't remember a lot of people tuning in for Graham Nash. Uh, so that's a shame, man. I feel like some of these artists are maybe underappreciated on their own. I don't know uh, what the case is, but we're, let's go ahead and check out I Used to Be a King. I can already see with what Graham Nash has been involved with that I personally loved him. Um, so I'm excited to see what we got here today. Let's go ahead and read this one off. It says, I Used to Be a King from Graham Nash. Old friend Sean, I know you love hearing solo stuff from Crosby, Stills, and Nash and Young. Uh, so many, so many of them are hidden gems that never get played. That's what I'm saying, right? Uh, this is one of my favorites from Graham Nash solo album, Songs for Beginners. It's probably out of print, not sure, but this is my favorite song from it. I have the album, but it's in bad shape. I picked it up in 1971. My goodness, man. Thanks, Sean. I know you'll like the song. Take care of yourself and your beautiful family. Appreciate you guys so much, man. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what Graham Nash is dishing out for us to enjoy today. All right. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Um, let's go ahead and hit play. Before I do that, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the description. Thank y'all, guys. Let's rock. I used to be a king And everything around me turned to gold I thought I had everything Now I'm left without a hand to hold But it's alright, I'm okay how are you? For what it's worth, I must say I love you. And in my bed late at night, I miss you. Someone is gonna take my heart. No one is gonna break my heart again. To be a king And everything around me turned to rust Dang man I understand what he's saying It's cause I built my life on sand And I watched it crumble in the dust Yeah but it's alright I'm okay I wanna know how you are what it's worth, I must say I loved you as you are In my bed, where are you? Someone is gonna take my heart But no one is gonna break my heart But everything around me turned around But I know all I have to do is sing 
to your mouth. And I lift myself way off the ground. Yeah, but it's That's all cool. right. I'm okay. How are you? For what it's worth, I must say I love you. And in my bed, day and night, God, I miss you. Someone is gonna take my heart, but no one is gonna break my heart. Barely falling into them keys right there, too. All right, I understand the song now. I used to be a king. He said everything around him turned to rust. Um, reminds me of a situation I seen recently, man, um, about somebody. You know, they, they spent a lot of years of their life with somebody, man, building up this great life, and then uh, things fell apart. And that's kind of the way I, I think of this song is um, just building up your empire with your partner, right? Building a life together. You get you have kids, you have your own cars, now you have your own house, and everything is uh, just coming together. And then something happens, and that split happens, and you both wind up uh, trying to pick up the pieces, I guess. And um, you know, you used to have your own home and your brand new car and your nice life, right? Um, and then something chips all that and now you um you know you're struggling kind of to get by man and maybe you had to get rid of the nice car and and get a used car and uh maybe you had to get rid of the big house and you know downsize greatly whatever the case may be man it just made me think about that kind of situation uh for this it sounds like a relationship but the relationship aspect could really still entail all this other stuff um where you're left you know, reeling and, and picking up the pieces. And it's kind of like, dang, I used to have it all. I used to be that king. I used to have all the gold, all, all, all my own castle. And here I am now, uh, kind of everything turned to rust. That, that's the way it makes me think. And it's a heavy, heavy song for people in those positions. I definitely feel for people in those positions, man. Um, I'm sure we all got family members, friends, kind of been through that. Maybe some of uh, the viewers have been through that yourself in your life. And I feel for you because that's not an easy uh, situation to have to deal with right um but i love at the end how graham kind of says um but all he's got to do is sing and he'll you know he'll fly high and he'll be all right i like that because that's that's the hopeful message and that's the message i think he delivers at the end um for people to remember that hey yeah it could be it can be bad man things could get knocked down right things could get knocked down but remember you do got something inside you find that thing inside you that's going to help you carry on for him it's singing right for me if i ever went through it maybe it's just creating content for other people out there it's like dude find the thing that that's going to help you get over that hump right we got something that we can latch on to and help us through our high hard times find that and that's why i've always felt like um i've, I've always felt like having hobbies is very important um, for people, especially it's going to help you get through some some tough stuff if you've got something to kind of help you get your mind off of it or help you get in a positive space again. Um, for instance, even something as small as like somebody retiring from work. I, I was talking to uh, somebody that was going to be retiring and they're talking about, well, what do I got after this? You know, and it's like, oh, man, find a hobby, find something you're passionate about. I tried helping him out. He used to say he was very passionate about hunting and he said he realized hunting was over for him. When he went out there, he no longer wanted to shoot the animal. Instead, he wanted to observe it and enjoy its beauty, right? The the majesticness uh of, of, of life out there. And I thought that was cool, man. I told him, I said, well, that is a hobby. Animal watching actually is a hobby. You could go and pick up a book uh, that tells you all the animals in your region and just go on and act like a, uh, what what is that called? Like a, like a, a hunt you know a scavenger hunt you go out and you look for these animals and you mark them off and i thought that would be cool hey, maybe when i'm older that's something i'd be interested in i don't know i thought that sounded like a cool idea uh at the time hey you ain't got much to do that would be cool go out and identify all the wildlife you know what i mean in your area um he didn't gravitate to it i still talk to him and um you know he's trying to get by but hey i think hobbies are important i just thought that was a cool highlight there it kind of made me feel the way i always felt about yeah have something to help you carry on man uh because it's going to help during a, a trying time so let's go ahead and learn a little bit more from i used to be a king 
All right, so what we can gather from this one is this is uh, from Songs for Beginners from Mr. Graham Nash, released in 1971. Okay, and the uh, it doesn't say it says producers Graham Nash. I'm assuming he's the full-on songwriter but i don't know let's go ahead with the history it says nash brought in an imp- impressive group of guests to assist in the recording including david crosby jerry garcia phil lesh not familiar with phil lesh but grateful dead okay i do remember seeing him now right here i click on him i remember seeing him on the videos uh, he's the one i felt like was like a, a really good uh too you know too nice to be a rocker too nice to be doing drugs definitely looked like a father figure uh but apparently these guys were crazy into that uh acid and stuff so you got dave mason uh david lindley rita courage and neil young for sure man he's got some nice people of course names i'm very familiar with all seeing around each other uh during this era right um so the song that we went ahead and listened to today is number four on side one all right so appreciate the donation request man thank you i thought this was a beautiful song to take a listen to and actually a nice little dipe uh, a deep dive into so appreciate that since he's got simple man on here that simple man wouldn't happen to be uh I don't know, 1971. I'm not even sure Leonard Skinner was around. I, I don't. I don't know exactly the years, but I don't assume that's what that is. You guys, let me know. Simple Man could just be a, a simple title for a song, right? So appreciate you guys today putting me onto this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you did, definitely enjoy me some Graham Nash. Man, I, I love the, these guys' songwriting. I think they've got great messages in their songs. So appreciate that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the description. Consider becoming a member here on my YouTube Patreon. Three bucks, all it takes, ladies and gentlemen, to show some love back. Thank you, all and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.